Civilization is a vulnerable thing, a whim of circumstance. At any time, the smallest flap of a butterfly's wings may set catastrophe in motion. Haran, an entire city wiped from the map. Those left behind there did not stand a chance. The world's greatest minds came together and found a vaccine against the Haran virus. Finally, mankind had prevailed against the disease. But people always want more. Despite a promise to shutter its labs, the GRE continued its research in secrecy for military purposes. It didn't take long for a variant of THV to escape into the world once more. The fall happened more rapidly than anyone could have predicted. The few who survived now live in small enclaves. The only means of contact between distant human settlements are lone individuals, brave or desperate enough to travel on their own across dangerous wastelands. They are known as pilgrims. Somewhere on the map, one city is still standing. A city isolated from the outside world. City with special rules. Now, it's the last bastion of humanity. A chance for us to learn from history. And for once, make the right choices. Because every choice you make here shapes the future. Irreversibly. game used to be more fun. <coughs> you used to be younger. And dumber. What matters is, you're still just as fast. Because a slow pilgrim yeah, is a, a dead, dead pilgrim. pilgrim. Yeah, I know, I know. Get up here. I want to show you something. See you, Spike. I mean, how long has it been? Far too long. But don't get all mushy on me now. Come, I want to show you something. Where are we going? You'll see. It's incredible. What's incredible? Most pilgrims don't last two, three years on the road. How you've been kicking around for what? Four years now? And you're still alive. So are you. I know, but I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right, right. Seriously, I wish I had as much energy as you. Got a new lead on Jane? Nah, trail went cold after New Paris. Which route did you take? 
through Baines or Gary. That Baines, what a shithole. Some five rickety huts left and a ramshackle fence. <laughs> Look at that. A beehive full of honey. Can't let an opportunity like this go to waste. Uh, no way. Oh, look around. If we're lucky, there's chamomile growing here, too. Yeah, this will do. Do you remember that old herbalist we helped escort to her village? Oh yeah, the one that had that saying, uh... Remember, chamomile and honey are gifts that keep giving. Combine them and lucky you, you just might go on living. Come on, we're almost there. Damn it, locked. I'll try to get through here. You check the other side. Take anything we could use. Yeah, sure. Empty. I think it's time we parted ways. Why? I'm starting to worry about you. And you know our saying. If you're starting to worry about someone, it means it's time to go. Nothing here. Nothing in here. Party. Uh, but by then the GRE would have long since lost control of the virus. tasted back then. Who do you voodoo? Hmm. Sounds familiar. And that's what they called art?
like a party to celebrate the end of the world. Uh, they died on their own terms. Let's hope we get that lucky too. <sighs> I'll see what's upstairs. You check out the garden, okay? Okay. They had each other. She was classy. Mary, I'm sorry I ran from you. They say that once the virus makes you turn, you're gone forever. That can't be true. I know you're still in there, underneath all that pain and disease. I'm coming to join you. No more running. God. Hey, come here. Check this out. Sit down, buddy. For you. A gift? A gift from the heavens, to be more accurate. I've just found it, by the owner's dead body. May it be of more use to you. Here. It's gone flat. <laughs> Look at you and your sophisticated palate. Drink. Who would have thought the end of the world could be so peaceful? Yeah, at least until night falls. True. I wish Crane could have seen this. Wh who? Doesn't matter. I tracked down that guy for you. Hey, what, what, what guy? Quit pretending. You became a pilgrim to track that fucker down. Waltz, I found someone who knows him. Hey, what? And you're only telling me now? Huh, <laughs> when I tossed you a beer, thought you'd guess right away we we're celebrating. The guy's in Villador. Supposedly he knows something about Waltz. Villador? I saw him that close, huh? Hey, I got a favor to ask you. You deliver this to Gary, it's on your way. People don't like pilgrims there, but, but they pay well. <laughs> and where do people like pilgrims? Well, they're afraid of us. Everyone does their best to survive. <laughs> Maybe. But when something needs to be transported through the hordes of infected, then suddenly they're knocking on our doors. All right, but you owe me one. Uh, not just one. So what about that guy? Well, I talked to him over the radio. He didn't tell me his name. Sounds like he's got something to hide. See that antenna on the hill? That'll help you contact the informant. He'll be listening for you at dawn on a frequency of 140.200 megahertz. Told him he'd hear from you soon. I'll just go straight to the city. It's not that simple. Villador was supposed to be one of the zones. Cities that were walled off to keep out the plague. The plan fucked up. But this city, and its walls, survived. But this guy knows a way in. Get in touch with him, and he'll tell you everything. What does he want in return? Didn't say. But he didn't sound like the kind of guy who does things for free. <laughs> I don't think that kind of guy exists. What? What about me? You're an old fart who likes racing me, and makes me ask around about his crazy girlfriend. Hey, hey, hey. 
She's not crazy. Jane's just maybe, well, a little hot-headed. And she's always getting herself into trouble. But if you could get a load of her... <laughs> Whoa, all right. Still too early in the evening for that sort of talk. Eyes? I was going to say eyes. Beautiful. Steely. Huge. Never heard anyone get so worked up about gray eyes. Because you don't know shit about the world, let alone women. Yeah, you're probably right. I'm telling you, I'll finally find Jane. We'll set up a house. We're gonna live there. No one's gonna drive us out. And I'll stop wondering like a moron. I'll drink to that. And that waltz. What's his deal? Is he family? No. Not at all. <laughs> then why are you looking for him? Will you tell me sometime? Yeah. Yeah, one day. Well, my time's up. So when will I see you again, huh? In another two years? Maybe. Take care, man. I hope you find that waltz guy. Or whoever you're looking for. And remember, 140.200 megahertz at dawn. The guy's waiting for you.
Almost there. Oh, it's already dark. It's time to hide somewhere for the night. It won't get any better than this. Gas station should be here somewhere. Thank <laughs> you. 
Someone moved them not long ago. It's been moved. Okay, let's give it a try. This is it, the broadcast station. Have you brought 12346? We were supposed to take the patients back to the city. Don't worry. They'll let us go soon. Edie, I'm scared. I'm here with you. You're safe with me. separate us, this is how we'll always find each other. Time to contact the guy Spike was talking about. This is Aiden. I'm on frequency 140.200 megahertz. Hello? Aiden? It, yes. I was supposed to get in touch with you. I thought you'd change your mind. Why are you looking for Waltz, Pilgrim? To find someone else. Her name is Mia. 
15 years ago, we were in a hospital together and... I know who you're looking for, Aiden. You want to know why Waltz was doing those experiments on all of you. Why you are stronger, more durable than others. Now, I just want to find Mia. I've been looking for her since I left the survivor's camp. I... Can you help me or not? Maybe I can. Let's meet, Pilgrim. Where and when? Entrance to the metro tunnel by the bay. You can get inside the tunnels through an open GRE hatch. I'll meet you there. I take it you're not doing this for free. I have to leave the city, but I won't make it on my own outside. Take me to New Paris, and we're even. Along the way, I'll tell you everything I know. Over and out. Wait! I have to at least know if she's alive. She's alive. I'm going to the rendezvous. I'll see you later, Aiden. Can you hear me now? Loud and clear. That means you must be close. I swam across the lake. So, you've almost reached the tunnels. There's an entrance. The only one the GRE left when they sealed off the city. I'm coming from the other side. Hurry up. What's wrong? Hurry.
entering the tunnels. Hey, can you hear me? I'll meet you soon. Here I come. Anybody there? Oh shit, this doesn't look good. You're right. You fucker bit me. A volatile. Lots of those fuckers in the sewers. Let's get to the light quickly. Where's me? Uh, uh, later. We have to move. <laughs> Resist it. It'll pass. <laughs> Just stay strong. Didn't have it on him. Let's go! I don't have the key. I swear! I destroyed it. I did this on my own. I'm supposed to be able to get him to hurt him or open up. Where is it? Let him go, punk! I'd sure like to see you do that. 
Bring it! I'm gonna end you! that there's no time in my pocket i left you something what is this a gre access key the peacekeepers they found it we cannot lose it you were gonna tell me what happened to my sister where's mia you will go to fish eye there ask for a girl named the Wan. Give that to her. With it and her help, you'll learn. You will learn everything. Understand? Protect it. If Waltz gets his hands on it, the whole city, everyone will die. Waltz? Is Waltz here? He is. They're coming. You hear that? Renegades, run! We'll go together. Take this. All right, let's go. Fuck! There's our lost lamb, and he's not alone. We can fix that. Slaughter him! You can't touch him! Let's 
Get the fuck out! Zaheer, are you there? Do you have my key? It's Walt. We have to run. But I'm looking for him. You we... idiot. He'll kill you if he finds you. Kill on! Fuck. Get to the vent. Quick. This way. You first. What are you doing? Walt can't get the GRE key, remember? What? Let me out! Fish high. The one. Go! Pass the traitor! Uh, I did it. <laughs> hey, fellas. Let him go. you betray me. This key is not yours. You can't... Where is it? In here. This is the end. I'm sorry. <sighs> Getting misty? Not really. You're only dying. Before Zero Hour, my grandfather raised horses. Beautiful rare breeds. I love them dearly. One day his most beloved horse fell off the slope and broke his leg. I thought Grandpa would help him, but he just pulled out his pistol and put it in my hand. He told me, you're doing it for him. Then he pressed my finger on the trigger. I screamed. I wanted my grandfather to die. But years later I realized what must be done must be done. You leave me no choice, my friend. <laughs> Someone's here. In the bed! Get it! What the hell is that? <laughs>